Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now, Vivo Malaysia just launched their flagship devices, the X80 series, and that came in the form of the X80 as well as the X80 Pro. Now, I actually already covered the entire story about the X80 and you can find that in my full review. Uh, I'll put the links down below somewhere if you want to know all about this device. But in today's video, we're going to be focusing mainly on the flagship that is the X80 Pro. Now, just in terms of pricing, let me just refresh your memory once more if you don't already know it. The X80 is coming in at a price of RM3499 and the X80 Pro here, the more expensive one, is coming in at RM4999. So for that price hike or that price difference of 1,500 ringgit, uh, what are you really getting on the X80 Pro? Is it really worth your money and is it as good as a mobile camera as so they call it? Let's find out in today's video. Now, first things first, uh, I want to start off with just focusing mainly on the camera. Uh, so we're going to talk about that right now. If you take a look at the back panel here, it's quite a lot of things going on. And let me explain to you very briefly. So first things first, you do have a 50 megapixel main sensor. Uh, this is actually uh, one of the a custom made sensor for Vivo. It is made by Samsung and it is actually a quite large sensor if you compare it to other flagships today like the Samsung S22 Ultra, you know, iPhone 13 Pro Max. It's not the largest in the industry, uh, just to let you know, but it is one of the largest one so you can expect some pretty impressive uh, pictures coming out from there following that you also have a 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor this is a sony sensor apart from that you also have a portrait lens uh, this is a 12 megapixel portrait lens and last but not least if you look down below we do have this square shape you know periscope kind of thing that is actually an 8 megapixel telephoto lens that actually does you know five times optical zoom and 60 times digital zoom so those are just in terms of the sensors uh, the hardware that you get on the back here now, apart from that, if you notice that we do have the Zeiss T-Star uh, logo at the back there again. And what this T-Star means, again, if you don't already know, it means that it has this coating on it that actually prevents, you know, ghosting of images or, you know, image flare coming from your know, lights and all that. I'll put a very quick uh, image side by side with uh, an iPhone device here so you can actually see how this T-Star actually helps to reduce those ghosting effects and how it creates those really, really nice and crisp photos that you can take at night of, you know, LEDs or lighting effects. That's what I'm going to show you right now. Um, apart from that, if you move down further uh, into the device itself, uh, this is actually housing Vivo's latest V1 Plus chip. Now, the chip itself is said to be able to help the device itself to take even better low light photography. All right, so now that we've done talking about the sensors, let's talk about the real world use and how it actually feels like to take pictures with the Vivo X80 Pro. Now, when taking photos, it's worth mentioning that the X80 Pro also comes with a very quick Zeiss button shortcut. When you tap that shortcut, what it does is that it will automatically reduce the saturation levels from the camera by negative 20. So again, these are a couple of photos taken during the day. You can see that uh, they do have very, very good uh, dynamic range. Uh, they come with a lot of detail. Everything looks very, very clear and sharp on these images here. Uh, the colors, again, I won't comment too much on the colors here. I would say that if you turn on the Zeiss function, you will be able to get very true to life kind of coloring. But again, that is down to your personal preference. If you want a more saturated approach, just turn off the Zeiss uh, you know, uh, function. Other than that, uh, day daytime photos really, really look very, very good here. Again, uh, this is one of the best that is coming out of Vivo's uh, entire flagship devices. So this is what you can expect on the X80 Pro. Now, moving on to night images, this is where I wanted to see how good it is in terms of night images. And again, these are a couple of samples that I took during a very, very dark night. Now, bear in mind that this, these buildings at the back here might look like they are very bright, but that is actually because the phone itself is doing a heavy job there of brightening the entire image. I noticed that again, for night images we are seeing very very low amount of noise there's a lot of detail in the picture itself but sometimes it does tend to be a little bit more brighter than what I would actually like so it did not actually retain the very very original look but it created a slightly brighter look now again this is down to your personal preference some people they want to see a very bright image and that is actually better to them so if you fall into that category you will be very pleased with the night uh, the night images coming out from the x80 pro because it does a great job at brightening the entire scenery all right so uh, again, apart from that, uh, let's move on to the next thing and talk a little bit about the videos. Now, videos taken on the X80 Pro here is very, very good. I would say it's almost excellent because, uh, you know, the stabilization is a little bit better than the X80. I found it to be a little bit more stable as you can see from this very quick clip here. All right, guys, so we're currently at the uh, Vivo X80 series launch and they've got a couple of cars lined up here. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to test out the video test of the uh, X80 Pro. We're going to walk around here and just walk around and let's see the stabilization, how good it is. 
Again, I'm just holding this with one hand and this is the kind of audio that you can expect from the microphone of the Vivo X80 Pro. Alright, I think I'm going to start maybe walking a little bit faster. Alright, quite fast now. Let me know again if you can hear my voice clearly. I am using one hand to hold this X80 Pro. All these cars, most of them have their engines on. Ooh, very, very nice cars around here. Okay, so yeah, that is pretty much it. We have just walked uh, from the front all the way to the back. And again, this is just a very quick test on the Vivo X80 Pro. Look at these cars, man. Wow. And moving on to the night one very quickly as well, uh, you can see that it was able to capture a lot of detail even at night guys. I think I was uh, most surprised by the night videos captured by the Vivo X80 Pro. Uh, not only was it able to create a very minimal noise kind of night video, but also you can see there's a lot of detail being captured and you know the colors are also very very true to the original color, albeit it being a little bit more saturated. So again, uh, very pleased with the kind of videos coming out from the X80 Pro. Uh, if you are very into you know mobile video Videography. Uh, this is something that you definitely want to check out. Now, of course, you also still have those uh, four portrait, you know, Zeiss filters. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to show you a very quick uh, picture, just side by side. If you like that kind of thing, you know, the really nice uh, round bokeh kind of background, uh, the Vivo X80 Pro also has that. Uh, it was carried over from the X70 series. So yeah, it's still here today. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it about the cameras. Uh, moving on, let's talk a little bit more about other stuff that I like. Uh, I want to talk about the display because the display here is a fantastic display, guys. Uh, what we're getting here is a 2K display. Uh, it is a dynamic AMOLED display. That means uh, it's LTPO3, by the way. That means it can vary its refresh rates all the way down to 1 hertz to actually help you to save on battery. I know you won't really feel it or really see it you know, in the background, but it is there to help you save a little bit more on battery. But the main thing that I love here is in terms of the color accuracy. It looks so good, guys. I think it's even better than maybe some of the Samsung uh, AMOLED panels out there. But yeah, E5 display panel, very, very good. Very good brightness as well, 1,500 nits. I think this is definitely one of the best displays that you can see here. But um, there is also something that you might not like, and that is it comes with the curved sides, you know. So, you know, even when you're playing games, you might actually accidentally hit the sides there, and that might actually disrupt your game. But yeah, it is a fantastic display just in terms of the contrast, saturations, brightness, and all that. So, very, very good display on the X80 Pro. Um, moving on, let's talk a little bit about the performance. Naturally, you guys already know this is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Uh, again, if you are familiar with the processor, you will know that it does get very hot when playing games. And that is a similar case here with the Vivo X80 Pro. I did a couple of benchmark tests which I'm going to show you guys. And in terms of comparing it against other Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 devices, I noticed that the scores uh, were either more or less the same, but in terms of the 3D live, you know, the wildlife uh, extreme testing, now that is a really, really extreme test on the graphics. I noticed that the X80 Pro here did a very, very good job at maintaining the stability. So you are going to get very decent performance here, but notice that the temperatures do get very high. Yeah, that's what you can expect here, maximum performance, but Again, if you are looking for maximum performance, you can get that on the X80 Pro. I just want to remind you that just like all other Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 devices, it will tend to heat up a little bit. Alright, now moving on, let's talk a bit about the battery in the back. We do have a 4700 mAh battery. Uh, it supports 80 watt fast charge. That means it will do 0 to 100% in like, I think slightly more than 30 minutes. But what's interesting here is that it does support wireless charging, guys. I mean, uh, you don't really see that very often on a lot of uh, Android devices. So happy to see that we have wireless charging on X80 Pro. Uh, other than that, uh, the design itself, yeah, it looks like this. Uh, I think it looks quite nice as well. I prefer this design compared to the last year's X70. Very, very neat design here. The camera bump is not that huge. Uh, apart from that, it is also IP68 rated. That means you can submerge it into water. You don't have to worry about the rain splashing on your device. So it's protected in that sense. Uh, other than that, I think it is. Uh, that's pretty much what I can share with you guys. Uh, it's a very, very solid device here coming from, the, from Vivo. The X80 Pro is definitely worthy of that flagship name. Uh, whether or not it is worth RM4999, again, this is really down to your personal uh, opinion. Uh, I think that if you are someone
someone like myself who focuses a lot on mobile photography or even if you like a lot of mobile videography, uh, the Vivo X80 Pro here is doing an excellent job at all those. So this is something that you might want to check out. Uh, again, Vivo will be giving out a couple of freebies if you place a pre-order for either the you know, X80 or X80 Pro. I, I'll put up some uh, information on the screen here so you can see them if you want to pre-order those devices. But yeah, again, I'm very, very happy to see you know, phone manufacturers keep pushing forward to get you know, even better in terms of the uh, smartphone photography. And I appreciate the fact that we do have the Vivo X80 Pro here, regardless of whatever its price is. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, don't forget to drop a like, sub to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And I hope to see all of you guys in the next one. Stay safe, everybody. Bye.